The next time you come across an image that has a little bit too much flash, you have these nice little happy, shiny faces, and it's always really not that flattering, but there's something we can do about that now, just to tone things down a little bit, get rid of the shine and the reflections off people's face. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Go ahead and open up the image in Photoshop right now, and as soon as you have it open, I want you to come over to the Layers palette and double-click on the little lock icon on that layer right here. Double-click on that, and a little new layer of dialog will come up. Just go ahead and click OK, because what we're going to do there is just unlock that layer. Uh, it becomes layer 0. Okay. Now, the very first step, and this is sort of like an optional step you can do, is just to overall you know, tone down the overall image if it's just too bright or whatever, because there's, two, you know, there's a couple different types of things we can do. We can you know, remove the... We can move the shiny spots off people's face, but we can also tone down the overall image if there's just too much flash. So for that, come over here to Image, over here to Adjustments, and select Curves, okay? And position the, the mouse pointer right in the middle of the grid there, right on that diagonal line there you see going across, and just click the mouse and drag it down to the bottom right and that will just tone down the overall image. Now if we go the other direction, you see it's going to go ahead and brighten the image. It looks like we used more flash than we needed. And you know, some images look like that, but you know, uh, but it, just go ahead and put it in the middle there and just drag it down just to the bottom right there just a little bit, just to tone things down just a little bit uh, so it's just not so harsh. And then go ahead and click OK. All right, so the next step is to really get rid of those little shiny spots that we see on the faces and on the noses and the cheeks and things like that. And so on hot, the, the way we do that is go ahead and click on the layer and drag it to the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers palette. But there's also another way. If you don't like, if you don't like to do it that way, and I, you've probably been seeing that I do it that way a lot. So uh, we can also come up here to layer and just select duplicate layer, okay? and we can do it that way. And that way it allows you to name the layer if you want to do it when you make a duplicate. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial here. What we're going to do is go ahead and come up here to Filter, down here to Blur, and select the Gaussian Blur. And so what we're going to do is blur out the entire layer, and I want you to keep turning up the radius until you see those little shiny spots start to fade away. Okay, so if I'm way down here, we can still see those shiny spots on the person's face. What I want you to do is increase the radius just a little bit up here. Maybe not too high, but right about there. Let's see. That looks pretty good right about there. And then I'll just go ahead and click OK. And then next, I want you to come up here to Filter, down here to Noise, and select Add Noise. And what we're going to do is bring back a little bit more of that skin texture back into the image. Now, you know, professional photographers have been using this technique for a long time, uh, using noise after they retouch a photo. They bring a little bit of noise back into the blur or the soft spots just to give it a little more, a little more natural grain, uh, you know, back into the image and, and into the skin, which is kind of important. So, uh, but down here where it says the amount, I seem to be you know, having a very good success with somewhere between two and three. Uh, you may find something higher than three, maybe a little bit too much for you. But go ahead and try number two, and we want Gaussian for dotted Gaussian right here. And also make sure monochromatic is unchecked for this particular one. And then just go ahead and click OK. All right, so all we have to do now is drag this top layer below our original layer here. So now we see our original layer. This is our original photo here. And we have our blurred layer below that that has a little bit of noise attached to it. And so what I'm going to do is click on that very top layer, all right, activate it, and then come over to the toolbar and select the eraser tool, okay, which is right here. Now, what I want to do after that is make sure, go ahead and right click with the mouse or on the Mac, that's just uh, control click. And you'll get the little menu that pops up here. And what I want you to do is turn the hardness down all the way down to zero. Okay? Now, the master diameter, this is just really optional because it, it really depends on the area that you're touching up on the image. For an example, let's see if I'm doing her forehead here, it's a much larger area, so I can just go ahead and turn the diameter up a little bit larger. Go ahead and click outside of that menu there to make that go away. And then I can just come over to the image with this brush. Now here's the trick, folks. All you need to do is just click the mouse just once. Just dab it. Just go click, 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 click. Very, very subtle clicks there just to tone down that reflection or that glare, that shine a little bit. You see how that turns out? Isn't that beautiful? We come over to the cheeks and just gradually just click on the cheeks just like that and remove those. You'll see how that turns out. It looks, looks really nice. So we can also do the chin here. I can go ahead and just do the chin. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just right, right click and turn down the diameter just a little bit. And if you want to do her nose, and 
just a fair warning here, uh, sometimes when we remove too much off the face, sometimes it can lose that depth, especially with the nose. If we take too much reflection or uh, you know, shine off the nose, it can sometimes look a little bit flat or wide. In other words, if I just take this out completely, yeah, you know, maybe it looks like it, it would have looked better if it was still there. So I want to go ahead and just undo that a little bit. And we can also do the mouth, the teeth, and the lips as well. It's the same process, folks. So all we have to do is just, you know, come over here to the toolbar, and you can select the zoom tool here. And what we can do is draw a selection around the area that we want to work on, and then release the mouse, and it'll zoom into just that area. I'm going to select the eraser tool, and now I'm going to need to just turn this down just a little bit here. And let's go ahead and just touch up the lips. We can take it off the lips there, you see? And I can just go ahead and turn that and make that a little bit smaller, make our brush just a little bit smaller, come in here on the gums, and remove the glare and the flash off the gums. It's the same thing, folks. It's the same process, just looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and zoom out of this right now. All right. So there you have it. And so if you want to see the, what, the, what it looked like before, I can just come over here to the history palette, and here's the before, our original. And then we applied our curves, and then we touched up the face, and this is the end result right here. There you have it. I'll go ahead and zoom out of that again, and here's, uh, this is before, and this is after. So there you have it. Those are some ways that you can really, you know, tone down the flash. If it's just way blown out, uh, use the curves, and if you have those little shiny spots all over there, someone's face, and you, may, you might find it's not really that flattering or anything, go ahead and use these eraser techniques to just kind of help things out a little bit, and you'll be really surprised. We'll see you guys later.